So we're here at the train station in Bangkok right now and now we're heading to Chiang Mai and we've been there before, that time we took a bus and now finally we're going to be able to test out the famous night train. Uh, apparently it's like amazing and you can sleep through the night like seamlessly, like it's better than the hostels. So we're super eager to check this out. There's so many people here waiting for the train. Check out how full it is. Our trusty travel companion, how are you doing? Good. I've been waiting for this day for months now. This is the only reason we came to Thailand. Let's go! Okay, so when we ordered, we actually asked to get the, get the lower bank, but now it looks as if there are only upper ones. So, so here's obviously the beds. Yeah. And here underneath there's some seats. Ah, oh, they turn into. But this is so cool. Look at the lower ones, guys. If you ever book this, try to get the lower one because then you have the window. Nice. Oh, I didn't think. Cool. You can look out. This is awesome. So one thing to note is that we actually booked these tickets last time we were in Bangkok before we went to Cambodia, and we went to the train station instead of booking online. And that way, so first of all, we got it way cheaper than online, and second of all, we got to choose our own seats, which you can't do online, as far as we know, at least. Nice. So that's mine, or yours. Whatever. Here's 22. It's yours. We're next to each other. We're neighbors. So yeah, these uh, these sleeper beds are like having a pull-out sofa, like the seats at daytime, and then just pull them down into bed at yeah. nighttime. It's quite nice. So here are some racks too. I think there you can put the luggage, like either the upper one, or yeah. the top, or the lower ones. the lower ones. That's nice to know because you don't get information about this. So the, you do have to take the luggage with you. There's not like on buses where you put them in some storage room underneath the bus. So you just have them with you all the time. So if you're packing, you have access to all your stuff if you need it. So we have a fan room. And this is what the fan is. Yeah. yeah So Yulia always gets really really cold during the night so she kind of always insists that we turn off any kind of air condition or fan in the room whilst we sleep. I on the other hand get extremely warm and so it's like it's so horrible for me to fall asleep but now I'm pretty sure that she can do nothing to turn off this fan. <laughs> this one here is my hero. Today's gonna be the best night ever, right? So it turns out we came a little early, but now they actually put on some nice sheets here. And we got a pillow. No blanket yet though. No blanket. And curtains, which means... Wait, wait, I fucked it up already. But <laughs> technically, privacy. We have privacy technically, but... So do you think you're going to be able to sleep tonight? I hope so. I already bet that Yulia is not going to be able to sleep because she's going to hear like one person coughing at the end of the train. And yeah, then she just freaks out and can't do anything because she's so afraid of getting sick. Don't you think so? So the first thing I've noticed is that the beds are just like... Just about big enough for me. I have 185. It's not much wriggle room for me. If you're a very tall person, you probably have to curl up a little bit. Julia came over for a visit. I'm gonna do this all night long. Probably I can't sleep. We're leaving now, it's just turn 11, and yeah, finally we're heading to Chiang Mai. You just no water in a bed, so now it's just to hang out here. Just for the Insta story, you know? So yeah, if you guys are not following us on Instagram, make sure you check it out. It's uh, The link is in the description below. There's a dog here! Look how cute it is! Fluffy, fluffy. <laughs> I've been so proud of Yulia the last few days. We're making our Instagram stories. I think she's been doing a really good job. But suddenly, I discovered this. this. Found a coffee to work. <laughs> <laughs> Makes no sense. All right, guys. It's time for us to sleep. We're gonna see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. What are you doing? 
Actually. Stayed up the whole night? Um, yeah, I sent you some messages. Yeah, I actually don't think it's a train fault. I think the train was super comfy. It was so nice with the when we were driving, it was a little shaky, but I was just so not tired. I think we have such a horrible sleeping with No, but it generally was actually quite comfy. It was way better than a bus. Like, way, way better. better. Like, no comparison. No comparison. So if you're going to Chiang Mai, like, that train is way better. But as we also said yesterday, Make sure that you take the lower bunk. It's so nice if you have like the whole window and you can look outside, especially if you can't sleep, you know. At least I could sit here and look outside. People are sleeping here. Yeah. He transformed their bed into some nice day seats. They're actually quite spacious. It's quarter to seven now. Most people seem to be waking up. And yeah, so we have another five hours in front of us. So yeah, we actually brought our own breakfast yesterday. And I think I would recommend everyone to bring their own breakfast. They offer it here, but it's actually quite expensive. It costs almost five euros. This is our breakfast. Mm. So the train came to a stop now. And we'll have to get out of the train. Although, Yuri, I didn't want to. <laughs> She's just hanging out of the window. It's actually quite nice. Look at the tracks here. Hello. Hello. Come back in. Come on, come on. We arrived. It took 14 hours, 14 hours to get here. Compared to taking a bus, which we're taking several times now to Chiang Mai, <laughs> it was definitely better. Absolutely better. It was more comfy. You can actually properly sleep compared to a bus, which is slightly uncomfortable all the time. But I didn't take my chance and didn't fall asleep immediately. And you, you didn't sleep at all, kinda. So definitely. Was that the part of the train? No, definitely not. But so our advice is that when the beds are actually down in the night, take your chance to sleep because afterwards in the morning they put it back up. Then you have about five hours, so you just have to sit in the chairs and yeah. If you're tired then, you wished you slept in the bed. So the train station in Chiang Mai is slightly outside the city, so we're probably going to have to take a taxi now and try to find our apartment. Yeah. Alright, see you there. Journey continues tomorrow.